Welcome to another PLV Home Tour and we are back again at Daisy Suite. We're going to bring you up to this three bedroom rare duplex penthouse unit right here. Conveniently located along Better Road for easy transportation potential to transform into a dual key unit. Standing at 1033 square feet, optimally designed with minimal wasted space. Linden? Yes, yeah, so we have already sold three units here and this will be the fourth. And we'll tell you why it's such a rare gem to find. So let's go. Welcome to Daisy Suite. So before we start the rest of the home tour, let's share a little bit of the facts about Daisy Suite itself. So Daisy Suite is a project that is freehold in nature, completed in 2015, so it's only less than 10 years old. With a total units of 25 units, so it's a rather exclusive type of project. And out of the 11 units of 3-bedroom, there's only 3 penthouse type of units that's above 1,000 square feet. So Daisy Suite itself is located along Brader Road, bounded by Serangoon Road. So we are actually at the corner and border of D19 and D13. This Bradder Road actually allows us easy communication by driving, then lead you to Orchard in 10 minutes and also CBD in less than 15 minutes. With this expressway, it allows great connectivity to the rest of Singapore. And for public transport, we are actually located in between three major MRTs, which is Serangoon MRT, Woodleigh MRT and Bartley MRT. So Serangoon and Utley will be along North East Line, Bartley will then be along Circle Line. Whichever line that you prefer, you can actually find the bus connecting to these three MRT right outside along Bradder Road, which is just two minutes walk away from the side gate of the Suite itself. And because we are located between Serangoon and Woodleigh MRT, we will also know that Serangoon MRT itself has Serangoon Next Shopping Mall, which is one of the major shopping malls within Serangoon itself. And Woodleigh has just come up with its Woodleigh Mall below Woodleigh Residences. Grocery shopping for Serangoon Next, there's a 24 hours NTUC coupled with a cold storage. And at Woodleigh Mall, you'll then find your NTUC finest for more varieties of product. And with the development of the Bidadari Estate, there will be upcoming Bidadari Hawker Centre that will cater to all the food choices for the residents around this area. If you are someone that prefers a wet market type of grocery shopping, you can actually head down to Serangoon Central for a wet market type of experience. So with that, then we'll conclude the floor plan analysis of this particular three bedroom penthouse. So once you were to enter through the door, you'll find the kitchen on your right followed by the dining and living area. Two common bedrooms located opposite of each other with the home shelter located beside one of the common bedrooms. And for the first floor common bathroom, it will be located right beside this common bedroom itself. And one thing that we'll be happy to know is that there's actually a dedicated yacht Space. And moving on to the second floor, you will then find your master ensuite within the whole of second floor with a dedicated study area and the sleeping area, and plus this sizable balcony for you to enjoy the outdoor space. So next up, let's check out the interior of the first floor. So where we are standing at is actually the living room. So it's comfortably fitting a three-seater sofa with a built-in TV console already done up for you. You'll notice that for the dining and living room, they have actually done up this console, which is nicely flush and coupled with a lot of cabinetry storage spaces. And one thing to mention is that our owner has actually designed this whole space to minimize the wasted space. So you can see that this is actually the balcony and it was decked up to flush it across with the living room so that we can have this whole entire space as the living room. With that, they have also dedicated and crafted out this particular area as the yard space so washing machine and dryer can be comfortably fit up over there and the laundry rack system with UV and heater has already been done up for you so you no need to worry about where to dry your laundry. So this particular space is very very well crafted and also minimise the wasted space within this house itself. So moving across to the dining area, this particular area will be a space whereby you can fit up to four-seater. So this is a four-seater dining set. You can comfortably fit up to five person and right beside the dining area, you will then find yourself this dry kitchen already done up for you with tons of storage spaces like this so that you can store all your daily necessity right here. And induction cooker has already been dedicated for you so if any light cooking that you want to do like instant noodles, you can actually cook it over here. And right behind the dry kitchen, you will then find the wet kitchen nicely tucked within this corner of the house itself with a gas stove and cooker hood already installed, DD trick built-in oven, tons of storage spaces coupled with this black solid countertop. So after checking out the interior of the living, dining and kitchen, Let's talk a little bit on the floor plan analysis of all the various three bedroom units that is within Daisy Suite itself. For Daisy Suite, there's three main categories type of layout for three bedrooms. So one of them will be the 861 square feet ground floor patio unit. There's only two units of them with 4.6 meter ceiling height. And the rest of the six units will then be those mid floor standing at 764 square feet. For our three bedroom penthouse unit is standing above 1000 square feet. There's only two types of layout. For stack 03 and 04, 
these are similar layout with a mirror image. If we were to compare to the Stack02 type of layout, we will then notice the difference is just minimal with the different layout in terms of the home shelter and also a larger roof terrace. And if you were to pull out the side plan, we will then notice that Stack 2, 3 and 4, which is all the three bedroom penthouse, all have the same type of orientation facing, which is all facing south overlooking the swimming pool. So after checking out the floor plan and side plan analysis, let's take a look at the interior of the common bedroom. And one great thing that we love is this flush design for the TV console plus the dining area. This is where actually the common bedroom is and it was flush. So stepping right in into the first common bedroom, you'll notice that this room is quite sizable. It's fitted fitted with a single size bed with a study latch right behind me and a great overhung cabinetry space for your storage daily. And moving on to the other side, you must be wondering where is the wardrobe space? This will then be the wardrobe space whereby our owner has converted this home shelter into a walk-in wardrobe space. So all the spaces within this house has actually been used up very efficiently. Two great panels of wardrobe space allows you to store up all your clothing items. And if you were to prefer, you can actually change the laminate of this design into those sort of wood grain type of laminate. And this will give it a modern type of look. And if you're someone that don't require this particular wardrobe space, you can actually convert this particular space into a study room itself. So right here will then be the common bathroom with a sliding door system to minimize the wasted space. And what you can see in this bathroom is that this is actually designed a black and gray type of tone with the WC shower fitting. Basin has already been installed for you with good space of vanity cabinetries. And one of the things you might notice right now is that the fridge is not located within the kitchen itself. And our owner has specially designed the fridge space to be right here outside of the common bedroom so that the family can have easy access to the fridge space itself. Next, then we'll move to the second common bedroom. Stepping right through this door, you'll find yourself into the common bedroom. And in our opinion, this particular bedroom has a very good size which allows you to fit in a queen-size bed. And our owner has already converted this space into a study area. And that space can actually be your wardrobe space. Right now, it has been transformed into a bookshelf. So all the printers, books has already been stored in this area. So one of the renovation ideas that we have for this particular room itself is actually to remove these panels of door and then you can easily fit in your queen size bed right where I'm standing at. Flush out these full height windows, then wardrobe space can actually be located right behind there. And if this renovation doesn't appeal to you, you can actually keep the space as it is with the queen size bed right here, study table or dresser table right here with wardrobe space right at this corner. And what we love most about the space within the living room and the common bedroom itself is this full height window whereby it allows a lot of light to transit into the room itself without turning on the lights. And this allows the whole space to be very, very well lit through. The day. So after touching on the whole interior of the first floor, let's pass it on to Lyndon where he'll bring you up to the second floor where the master bedroom is and you'll share a little bit more on the pricing analysis. So before we head up to the duplex part of the unit, let's talk about this area in the foyer. Coming in from the main door, you have a foyer area over here that you have the option to convert it into a dual key unit. Meaning you could have a PD door over here to separate the staircase second floor and also a PD door over here to separate the first floor unit. So this will be the common area for your dual key concept. Let's head up. Coming into the second floor of the duplex unit, on your right, you have a recess area that leads out towards your aircon lab for you to easily service your aircon. And on this corner of the room, what we have is a four panel sliding wardrobe with a display shelf in the middle for you to keep those mementos. With this room standing at three meters, you have quite a lot of storage space because of the height of the wardrobe. Then coming into the master bedroom, we are able to fit a king size bed with two side tables and the headboard done up nicely for you. We definitely have our ensuite bathroom comes equipped with a standing shower and also a floating WC. What I really like about this master bedroom is that it has its very own private balcony where you can see currently it's used as a fitness corner. You are able to fit a treadmill, some weights and also a bench for you. So with the balcony, you can realize that ultimately if it does rain, you have three automated zip tracks for you to keep this place enclosed or if you prefer to have it air conditioned you can open your balcony sliding doors all the way while you keep this whole area enclosed
So let's talk about pricing analysis. There are two things that we have to look at. Number one, supply in the area. And number two, exit potential and price disparity. So if we look toward all the property available, there are 52,000 plus listings available right now. If we zoom down to three beta in District 13, there are only 70. And if we further zoom down into freehold nature and tenor, there are only 18. Lastly, further zooming down to above 1,000 square feet, there are only seven. And in terms of quantum, anything below 1.6 million, there are zero. So that settles it for the supply in this area and the quantum. So let's talk about disparity and possible capital appreciation for your exit potential. So if we look to our mode analysis, you will realize that for Daisy Suites, it has a disparity region mode score of four, meaning that we have at least 5 to 29.9 percent of gap itself. So, looking at our competitive capital appreciation as a whole, starting with the lowest, we have Eden Grove at 1.75 million, Summerville Lodge at 1.9 million, Sunshine Lodge at 2.1 million, something newer but leasehold, Park Colonial at 2.45 million, and Woodley Residence at 3 million onwards. This shows us that Daisy Suites which TOP'd in 2015, freehold in nature, generously sized at above 1,000 square feet, located in a supply that is minimal, and a quantum disparity of 100,000 to 1.4 million. This checks all the boxes for us. Thank you for staying throughout this home tour. Hope you have liked what you've seen so far. To recap, this is a 1033 square feet, three bedroom, rare duplex penthouse located within Daisy Suite. Locating along Bradford, Road, free home in nature. One of the lowest entry price that you can find within D13 and Serangoon itself. If you are interested in this property, you can contact our listing managers down here below. Do remember to like and subscribe all our social media channels. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. My name is Lyndon. I'm Seng Huat. Property Lim Brothers, Brothers, always happy to show, show you the place. Welcome to Property Lim Brothers. Let's go! Sure. One of the few hopes to... Ready! And at Wood... And at Wood And at... And at Wood With easy communication... Square feet. Ha 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 ha!